Well, it's Monday morning, or actually about 12.30 in the afternoon. I'm uh, going to pick up this uh, bronze here and put it in that van there. But I'm not going to video it because I'm going to be grunting and groaning. <laughs> be right back. Time to play with some clay. Well, as you can see, I've got it under a blanket, under the front seat, or in front of the front seat, and I got it wedged in there so it's not going to go flopping forward and backwards. So, and it's protected <coughs> by a packing blanket, and we're going to take it to Bozeman today. It's a windy day today, though. It's uh, forty. Yeah, it says it's forty degrees outside, and uh, the wind is from the south, so that means it's warming up a bit. Uh, last week it was in the minus twenty degree Fahrenheit area but uh, it said it was going to be warmer today and it was so I had to wait till now to go to Bozeman because last week it was snowy and blowy and very very cold and I don't like driving in that kind of weather especially through a canyon and uh, as far as I've got to drive away and I'll be there in about an hour or so. Well at least it ain't snowing. This is the old Bozeman Trail here. On the hillside over there, you can see the uh, remains of the trail dug into the side of the mountain or the hill. It's kind of hard to see, I think, right now. But they used to have wagon trains come through here uh, and supply trains of uh, goods and services that had to be delivered to like Virginia City and all all kinds of areas out here in the old west. Alright, we're coming into a valley here where I think well over a ten thousand people used to live in a town that was here. It was a mining town because there was a gold rush back in the eighteen sixties. There's nothing. That's how quickly the land can come back to itself 
they raise cattle here this is uh looks like they're gathering cattle but uh this used to have a town in it and city and uh it's interesting that how quickly everything disappears as time goes by this is all on the Bozeman Trail by the way view of the Madison River. It's one of the three rivers that form the uh, headwaters of the Missouri River, which is just north of here. The uh, Jefferson, the Madison, and the Gallatin River form the three rivers form the uh, headwaters. This is where Lewis and Clark was looking for, was the headwaters of the Missouri River. That's one of their missions. that people have been coming through here for over 30,000 years. That's a long time. Summertime, this river is covered with uh, fishing boats. People drifting down the river fishing. All right, All right where this bridge is, here. when they were building the bridge about 10, 15 years ago, they were excavating a toll house that used to be here because it was a a toll bridge used to be out there on that river. That's what those little piles of uh, dirt are, or rocks, out the river. That was the uh, support for the uh, the old toll bridge that the wagon trains would cross over. They were excavating the toll house, and they were uncovering a buffalo uh, shoulder blade in the fireplace of the uh, the old toll house. And the old toll house used to be right under the uh, base of the uh, bridge there on that one side of the river. All this uh, land on the uh, right is Ted Turner's ranch. Uh, he's the guy that started uh, CNN, if you don't know who that is. And you'll see buffalo here all every once in a while because he raises herds of buffalo for meat. be an old schoolhouse up here but uh, they moved it I wish they'd have left it there it was a one-room schoolhouse I tried to imagine what it was like to go to school there back in the 18 and early 1900s
north of here, John Coulter was captured by the uh, Blackfeet Indians on the uh, Jefferson River. And uh, he was stripped naked by the Blackfeet and forced to run for his life. And it took him a while to get to the east to a fort near Billings, Montana, a couple hundred miles away. But when he got there, he was uh, pretty well ripped up by the uh, cactus on the ground and by the just the roughness of the land. His feet, I understand, was like hamburger by the time he got there. I can't imagine that kind of strength to want to live. Up here in 1980, 1998, I rolled my van. I hit a icy spot right here and ran right into the cliff and flipped over a couple of times. That was scary. That's the only really bad accident I've ever been in I, in my life. We're in the Bozeman area. This is actually uh, south of Gallatin, or uh, Belgrade, Montana, which is uh, where the International Airport is. A lot of uh, new building going on here. Oh my God. All right, now I'm up on that the freeway. Just up in the last couple of months. And I'm heading towards those mountains up there, the Bridger Mountains. And there's a canyon right there. And that's uh, the beginning of the canyon is where the foundry is. This is just north of Bozeman. Those mountains way off in the distance there with the snow caps on them. That's in Yellowstone Park. That's how close we are to Yellowstone Park. During the Yellowstone Park fires back in the early 90s, that sky was completely filled with smoke from those fires. It's horrible. new foundry that I'm going to be going to possibly is just a few about another half hour's drive on that freeway going through the canyon now in the winter time that could be kind of dicey because it's a canyon and it goes up a mountain to a pass but anyway so this foundry is going to be closing at the end of uh, this coming month, or this month, no, next month, March. And this is the foundry. This is the uh, area that they put the bases on and prepare the bronzes to be shipped. All right, I'm here. I'm gonna turn off the camera and take the bronze in. All right, these two bronzes are ready to go to England. Island Song and Battle Trophy. I even got all the information for shipping right there. All right, see you guys next time. Have a good day. All right, good night, if you everybody. like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine 
instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.